that personal connection to the project is key in selling anything at any level. I find the most original ideas I read are from writers that haven't been in the industry for 50 years. When I think about my slate and how the kinds of projects that are coming from first-time creators, they're very creative and they're a new entry into a world. I also think that you can't have this conversation without talking about inclusivity and um, diversity as well. The reality is when you're talking about first-time creators, you're talking about women and people of color because they haven't been in the industry at a high level for decades. So if we're serious as an industry about supporting those voices, if we actually want to hear from minorities, then I think that we need to be taking swings at people at a very early stage in their career. And I find that a lot of writers are writing from a really personal space when they're entering as well. Um, a lot of them feel very connected to their work, which is the kind of work that we're excited about producing anyway. Any interview that you ever do, I think that come in as prepared as possible who you're meeting with. Knowing the kinds of shows that I would work on is only going to help you get more out of that meeting because you can be a little more strategic about which projects you might casually pitch me or what questions you might ask me and how I can be helpful. So I always recommend coming in as prepared as possible. You're always going to be asked, what are you watching? And the subtext of what are you watching is, and can you articulate why you like it or don't like it? I think that the, the backbone of a lot of conversations in this industry are based on taste and your ability to articulate your likes and dislikes. When I ask that question, what are you excited about right now? Like, what are you watching that you're loving? I would fully expect the writer to say, um, well, I'm watching the second season of Euphoria and I don't think it's quite as good as season one, but, you know, the spectacle of it all is just still awe-inspiring and I particularly loved this episode. Like, that's the kind of conversation I'm really asking for because it also allows me to assess how you're analysing story and what is exciting for you from a taste perspective and kind of invites me to say, oh, that's really interesting. I have a project on the slate that would fit for you. For me, the uh, intention of a general is to get a great sense of what makes you tick, what are you good at, what are you excited about, so that I can be strategic and thoughtful in what projects I would uh, ask you to be tracking or that I think might fit for you. A lot of generals can be very formal and um, professional. And I think a lot of generals can be very casual and chemistry based. And, and it's totally okay to show personality. I mean, when we're talking about potential staffing, you know, I'm going to be working with you for 20 weeks and I want to know that I we can get on and have a conversation about what you did on the weekend. And, and there's no problem in being as personable and uh, candid as you'd like to be. After we've kind of had a conversation about taste and I've introduced the company and asked what they're excited about, I'm making mental notes of, oh, I have shows on my slate right now that are in development that feel like they would be of interest and aligned with that writer's skill set. So what I do at the end of my generals is I'll bring up a couple of them. It's such a, a natural window and opportunity for them to reach out to me again in a couple of months and say, how is that going? I'm still thinking about that. Or if they see an announcement on deadline of it being ordered to series to poke their agent and say, that's the project she told me about. Can you remind her that I'm here? So when I mean tracking, I mean, are you reading the trades? Have you got notes on your meeting with me? Are you able to tell your agent they mentioned this? Could you keep me updated? Because that sounds really exciting and up my alley. For me, it's just keeping that in mind and how can you be strategic about using that information to kind of re-enter a conversation with me and position you on getting on the next show. Most people want to help you. They want to help position you on a show. They want to give you good notes. They, the only way people can help is if they know how to go. So if I have a meeting with a writer and I say, what do you like to write? And they say, oh, everything. I write everything. 
I don't know what shows to bring up to them. I don't know what to consider them for with staffing because like we have everything too, but I'm not going to talk about the whole slate. I want to hire writers that specialize. I want to hire writers that are intentional and thoughtful about what makes them excited and know how to articulate that. And that doesn't mean that you need to say, I only write sci-fi, but it could be, I like writing characters with secrets, or I love writing from a BIPOC female perspective, or comedy in dark subject matter. And when you say that, comedy in dark subject matter, that doesn't stop me from saying, oh, that sci-fi would be great for you because we do that. And this like intimate dramedy is be great for you if you do that. Like I'm still considering you for the wide range of your interests but I'm able to latch on to the thing that's exciting. And I think that finding your ability to talk about, you know, what do you like to write? What is the through line or, and the consistency between all of your pieces? Even if you feel really eclectic and across the board and multi-skilled, I would try to find something fuzzy and memorable and connective about that, that really helps me connect you with projects on the slate. 